It says here that she might get bail, which means she could be back in the village until the trial. She just needs somewhere to stay. Yeah, well, she's not staying here. Oh, come on, Dad. Use your brain, Debbie. And one of the witnesses in the trial, there is no way she's staying here. Yeah, and you shouldn't be standing up in court against her in the first place. Well, like I've got a choice. Well, tell him, Grandad, they can't force him, can they? No, they can't. All they'll do is, if I don't turn up, is lock me up. Your dad's not wrong, love. Yeah? And ain't it worth it if he saves Mum from years in prison? It will take a miracle to keep your mum out of there. You best start getting used to it. Hey! Look, I don't care. If you don't go to school this afternoon, we'll just have the truant people on our backs. I'm not going until you give me the money for my school trip. No, I'm brassic. Well, everyone in the year's going. Tough. Where are you going? Vindolanda. <laughs> Your dad can't run to foreign trips, love. It's a Roman fort on Hadrian's Wall. It's 30 quid. Yeah, well, it might as well be 300. Well, I need to go as part of my coursework. Well, the school should pay for it, shouldn't they, eh? Oh, yeah. My mum would never let me be left out. Yeah? Well, your mum had money to burn, didn't she? You are so tight. You never buy me anything. I'm practically a deprived child. And now, you're going to stand up in court and make sure she goes to prison for the rest of her life. Well, I wish it was you going to prison and not her. Move. <laughs> Spitting image of her mother, bless her. To offer to house a suspected murderer will not do at all. Well, no, listen, listen, she, she probably won't even get bail. But it is still a promise made in a court of law. This is a respectable family business. Please, I'm begging you. Look, you got yourself into this situation. I'm afraid you will have to dig your own way out. Oh. Uh, mind if I join you? What do you want? Well, just a... Uh... Chew the fat with me own flesh and blood. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't want any grief about our Debbie. Hey, she's your lass. Wouldn't dream of her. I'm not made of money like a mum used to be. I can't run around buying frocks and shoes and ponies. Uh, expensive creatures are girls. <laughs> I'm uh, dreading the day our bell gets fashion conscious. No, I'm not worried about Debbie. It's uh, more like a mother. <sighs> Something very satisfying about mindless, repetitive activity. Well, there's plenty more where that came from. Trisha loves this colour. It's vibrant, that, though, isn't it? What my angel wants, my angel gets. I thought you were sorting out the bedroom first. I mean, that's where you're going to be spending the next few weeks, isn't it? <laughs> I sincerely hope so. Oh, I was talking to Emily about a charity wanting to stay, and she wouldn't believe it. I mean, the last thing you want when you've got six months of conjugals to catch up on is a cuckoo in the love nest, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Actually... You have Oh, and you didn't. Well, the solicitor, he sort of, he taught me into it. What was I supposed to do? I can't screw up a chance of bail, can I? Well, she doesn't stand any chance anyway. They don't let murderers roam the streets anymore. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? You know what it's always going to do, don't you, if she finds out you've even been to see her? You won't grasp me up, will you? No, but there's always my mate. A charity's family. I couldn't let her down, could I? We better keep her fingers crossed, don't we? And she stays inside, or you'll be out on your own, you know. The judicial system is like a, an alien universe to a dingle. I don't have any choice. If I don't turn up when Charity's on trial, they can send me down for it. It's not right. We have our own ways of dealing with things, our own code. We keep it in the family. Is that what Charity thought when she was trying to set me up? Well, it's no reason to help them with their inquiries, to stand up in court and testify against your own blood relative. You're suggesting that I tell Porky's? It's against the law. <sighs> I've heard the day she ever met that Chris Flaming Tate. He's been dead for weeks and he's still causing ructions in the family. Could have done the right thing in the first place. Buried him at the crossroad with a stake through his heart and a lead line coffin. That's how he used to sort his type out. All I'm saying is don't get your hopes up too oh, high. This place is doing me a in. I can't handle staying here till the trial. Your cousins confirmed the address for your bail application. Rest assured, I'm doing my best for you, Mrs. Tate. Look, it's charity, right? How many more times? My name is Charity. I'm sorry. It's just, I can't sleep in this place. It's, it's too flaming noisy. And the food, the food's unbelievable. You know, my cousin gives better to his pigs. I can't even look at it without wanting to throw up. 
If it was up to me... Yeah, yeah. I'd be in my suite at Claridge's by now. But it would be wrong of me to lead you to expect that the preliminary hearing will be successful. All that we can hope is that the judge is with us. And you do have something suitable to wear in court? Plain black suit, no cleavage, no legs. Excellent. So, what are you doing tonight, then? You don't want to know. No, go on. I do remember the outside world. It's my wife's birthday. Doing anything nice? Taking her out to dinner. The Blue Bear at Washington. Me and Chris used to go there quite a bit. They do a beautiful lobster and chips with homemade mayonnaise. That's the one. You're right, I didn't want to know. Good evening, Mrs Tate. I'll see you in the morning. I'll just go easy on the brandies, yeah? I want you compass minutes in the morning. Too good. I reckon I've picked up some kind of bug from in here. Not surprising, it's minging in this place. Mm. I'm sick too. I think I must be suffering from premature senility. What are you on about? Only, I distinctly remember telling you, under no circumstances, were you to use my address for your bailing. And yet, weirdly enough, I've had your slister on this morning twisting my arm. Thank you, Marlon. I knew you wouldn't let me down. If this costs me my marriage, I'll be inside next time for murdering you. Look, I promise, whatever happened between me and you... Don't, don't keep bringing that up. No idea what you're going on about. Forgotten already. <sighs> and I promise I will be as nice as pie to Trisha. Trisha. Trisha's the least of my worries. If Zoe gets so much of a sniff that I've had anything to do with you, we can kiss goodbye to Pear Tree Cottage. It's got a very big cellar. Maybe you can stay in there. You can come out at night, I suppose, but wearing a bag over your head. It's all academic anyway. I don't stand a cat in hell's chance of getting out of this place. But Marlon, thanks. Thanks for standing up for me. I won't forget it. <laughs> 